woke up. Uh, I don't know, it was like 4.45 this morning. Uh, like 4.30. And 15 minutes makes a lot of difference. It was early anyway, it was dark. I full thought I got her back to sleep too. I like, got out of bed and picked her up and like sang and sang and then lay her back down and kept singing and for sure thought she was out. And then as soon as I stopped singing, she was like, what's up? It wouldn't be so bad had I slept the rest of the night. <laughs> I'm like, fine, whatever. But I think because of because of Faye's lack of sleep, it's, it's just, it's hard when you have not anyway. I so don't sleep here apparently. We've had an early night, I mean, a, early morning. It wasn't an early night. It's going to be an early night. <laughs> uh, today's our last day here in Barbados. Yay! So I'm about to jump in the shower. The shower's, oh, you can see how steamy it is in here because the camera fucked up as soon as I walked in. Uh, and that's the mirror. Um, the shower's actually been running for about probably like 10 minutes now. It takes literally that long for it to get hot. It's not that I was out here trying to waste water. We're gonna, I'm gonna have a shower, we're gonna get ready, and um, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Because... Yay! Yeah. How does a kid that woke up at 4.30 this morning have that much energy? Because she's a kid, not an adult. Yeah, that's, that's baked beans on toast. I'd forgotten how like much I actually enjoy terrible baked beans on terrible white toast. Yeah, it's very grey and overcast again today. Still quite nice outside. No, it just doesn't look as pretty, let's be honest. That's really what it boils down to. So it's all just it's all very just grey and desaturated. And and you can't really swim in it. The ocean's like super choppy. They've got red flags up suggesting that it's dangerous out there. But um yeah, so we're just hanging out. Just hanging out on the beach. Luna's more than happy just to run around and play in the sand a little bit. That was actually a really lovely little beach trip. Nathan suggested that him and Luna just go and I can go upstairs to nap, but I kind of felt bad it's our last day here, so I wanted to make sure we all got to hang out together. Nathan also makes fun of me for talking like this all the time. I'm aware of it. I'm okay with it. And it will probably keep happening. I'm still feeling really tired, so I honestly, I don't know what possessed me to dig so many holes at the beach. Luna really likes holes. Beach. And I was like, well, if you're finding it fun, then I'm gonna make your thing and then you'll have a good time. And the other little kids started playing. And honestly, I was sweating by the time we were done, like dripping with sweat. So we've got changed, housekeeper's in our room. Now we're at the pool. shoes. I 100% thought those shoes would be overkill. They're like little grippy neoprene water shoes. Um, so yesterday she must like she bolted from the pool heaps and the tiles can be really slippery. So for that alone, it was worth the $12. It's about to rain really hard and most people are packing up and heading inside. Oh, the lens is so dirty. But this is our last chance to have a decent swim and swim in the rain, so we're hunkering down and just going for it. With me now, me now I know water stuck in my ear and I can't get it out. <laughs> I can hear it, it's so annoying! You know that thing when you go to the pool and then you you have water stuck in you for the rest of the year? Yeah, that, that's, that's what. <laughs> I need to give myself whiplash. So he's been doing that for the last, I don't know, since we've been out pretty much. <laughs> oh, guess what guys? We just booked two inspections for Sunday for houses for us to look at. The day after we get to LA. Making things happen over here. How great would it be if we got one of those apartments? Uh, it's not even an apartment, it's a house. How great would it be if we got one of those houses the day after we got there? It would be great. I mean, we wouldn't be able to move in the day after, but like if we got approved for one of them in that sort of time period, because 
all of our stuff is going to take like another 10 days to get over from New York um, and whatever. But we've got an Airbnb booked that's going to, that, that, uh, that, that'll have us covered for, you know, the first couple of minutes. Do you want me to put my glasses on too? Luna likes this all to be matching. She just told mummy to put her glasses on. Now daddy has to put, is that better? <laughs> ha ha, let's go. Luna, go with daddy to get some lunch. We've just come across the road to get some lunch and we stopped off at the gift shop to grab something for my mum. Since we leave tomorrow and she, is, she completely fell asleep, but it's only like 12.30, she's had such a big morning. So we've got to get some lunch before she can nap. I feel bad waking her up, <laughs> look at this. How awesome is Luna eating that noodle? I'm not sure we've ever taught her how to eat noodles that way. But you're really good at it, kiddo. Pretty tasty pasta for sure and very, very, very generous servings. But Luna is quite happy. We've She's been like hitting up all the different spots in this area. And last night we had, last night we had Chinese from there. And it was like, it was better than any Chinese we've had in America so far. But they've got pork ribs and they were so tasty. Like the seasoning and the Szechuan on them was incredible. And like these bowls of pasta are just like really good bowls of pasta. Like the pasta's not like anything insanely special. Like it's not go, it's not like write home about it. It's not like insist that people have to come here again. But I don't know, expectations were really low because we're at an Italian place in Barbados. But this is delicious. We're just out here getting out for our last evening in Barbados. Hey mate. No sunset. Weather's still pretty wild. I think it was raining again while we all napped. Long nap. We're, we're a tired fan because a certain little someone is on some other crazy time zone that I'm not aware of. The best part is that when we get to LA, Luna's going to be on what I'm calling early New York. So she won't be waking up at like 6.30 New York time, she wakes up at like 4.30 New York time. Which is 1.30 1 1 LA time in the morning. Tell you what, either she will acclimate instantaneously and just miraculously wake up the first night there on the right time zone because that's happened. Or it's gonna be a very long week of midnight wake ups. Are you having fun on the sand? Do you know that where we're moving to, we can go to the beach all the time? Okay. How great is Luna's little okay? It's constantly, like, I don't know, I'm not sure I've heard many yes or no's recently. It's all just been like, okay, okay. I just told Luna we were gonna go get some dinner and she said no and ran away. They say you can always sort of tell who you're marrying by looking at their, you know, like if your wife look at their, your mother-in-law, your husband look at your father-in-law. Um, every time Fee's mum goes to the beach, she does a thing called a two minute beach clean, where she just goes around the beach picking up like rubbish for two minutes. Um, and we were just about to leave the beach and Fee's like, wait, I have to go there with some cups and, and don't get me wrong, Fee's mum Sandy is lovely. So I'm more than happy for Fee to have plenty of her mum's characteristics. I just, never has the, the straw issue been more real and apparent than being here. And the straws on the beaches and we are in sea turtle territory. It yeah. makes me sad. It's Although, hold on, our hotel. Oh no, somewhere across the road does do paper straws. But still, all the cups. Yeah, that's true. You, you hear about um, the straws affecting sea life and particularly sea turtles. And it's easy to be like, oh yeah, that's a thing that doesn't really affect anything directly near me when you live in somewhere like New York. But then when you're here, where sea turtles are like a huge part of nature here on the island, and then like, like just around that little bend over there is where you should be able to find sea turtles. Um, really close to us and walking on the beaches, plastic straws everywhere. Sort of brings home that we can be pretty terrible as humans sometimes. People arguing about whether or not plastic straws should still be a thing because they're convenient to them. 
when, you know, like, it's such a small inconvenience to have in the scheme of things, you know? Use a paper straw, or don't use a straw at all. Starbucks introduced, like, lids for their cold coffees that are like a sippy cup lid, which I think is really cool. You know, then you don't need a straw at all. Because I don't really like paper straws. Paper straws disintegrate. I'd rather use the, the sippy, the sippy cup thing. We were really debating what was going to be our last meal, our last dinner here. The Chinese was so good, we almost got that. But Nath asked a girl from this place in the middle what her favourite thing was to eat, and it was the ribs. So we felt like we couldn't really leave without tasting the ribs, and the flying fish burger is so good, also very local. So we're finishing on a very local, authentic dinner. These ribs are really good. These ribs are delicious. Oh, but they look really tasty. 10 out of 10. Oh, thumbs up. Good job. Thank you. Luna just asked for what? chips. About to read a book. Luna's gonna go to bed. And that is our last night here in Barbados. We've got the morning tomorrow. We don't fly out until the afternoon. So we'll see if that kind of, I have my fingers crossed that maybe we'll get a little bit of blue sky tomorrow morning. That'd be nice. But it could just still be gray. Cause you know, the tropics. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.